Welcome to the Summoner's Rift preview. By now, you've probably heard about the update to Summoner's Rift, so we'd like to share more detail behind what we're trying to accomplish. Let's start with clarity. For us, this is about making all gameplay information more readable. One way we've tried to accomplish this is by controlling color, saturation, and level of detail in the environment, so it doesn't distract from that Lysandra Claw sneaking up behind you. In most situations, the first thing you should see is the UI, followed by visual effects, like champion abilities and summoner spells, then champions, minions, and monsters, and finally, the environment itself. Basically, we want you to be focused on fighting your opponents, not the game. Check out this comparison of the current Rift against the updated version. The navigation mesh, which dictates where you can and can't move, is partially obscured by the environment on the current map. Now the environment's out of your way, making pathable space, flashable walls, and possible ward placements easier to see. Another way we've tried to improve clarity is by making it easier for players to orient themselves. Each jungle quadrant now has a unique theme, so your location is more obvious at a glance. Baron serves as an orientation point, with destruction radiating outward from his pit. You'll find that the closer you get to him, the more demolished the landscape becomes. For instance, in the West Quadrant, the plant life is full of energy and rock formations are split by Baron's emergence. In the East Quadrant, the natural beauty of the forest was kept safe from his influence. Even though both are home to Blue Buff, they're visually different enough to let you know exactly where you are. We want Summoner's Rift to be the place we play together for years to come. For this update, we've chosen a handcrafted art style that we think will grow and evolve over time, just like the rest of the game. Thematically, jungle monsters feel much more at home on the Rift and better communicate their power levels. The red buff, the brambleback, roars a warning at everyone who walks by, looking ready to pump out damage. Compare him with the Krugs. These monsters' cloistered defensive stance implies their damage-soaking, tanky style. Each jungle camp sports a bit more personality as well. The Merc Wolves emerge from their cave, ready for the hunt. And the Gromp is just adjusting to his new weight class. The two bases are just as distinctive. They share similar architecture, but their differences come from animal inspirations. Red base features an owl motif and curvilinear shapes, whereas the blue base is inspired by a stag theme and blockier shapes. In the middle of the map, the two sigils meet, and you can see a side-by-side -side view of their differences. Red minions wield axes, continuing their curvy shape language, and blue minions carry on their more square traditions, swinging warhammers. These different weapons and armor combine with brighter color saturation to help readability. For Dragon and Baron, we added an element of ceremony, elevating their status beyond that of the jungle monsters. Take a look at Dragon. Menacing and imposing, he's very protective of his territory. In combat, Dragon's finally spent his ability points, and his new abilities better reflect the damage he puts out. Baron's new look is complemented by a redesigned kit that shows his status as the toughest boss on the Rift, and indicates how much damage he can do. His new abilities and attack pattern should feel less random, helping teams decide when to fight over this important objective. Please keep in mind that nothing's 100% complete yet, and that there are still months of effort ahead. On PBE, we'll be listening while we make tweaks, squash bugs, and improve performance. By the time the update launches, you can expect near-identical performance on your machine. Along the way, check in at the Summoner's Rift Hub, where you can share in the evolution of the map. There, the conversation will continue, with dev blogs, Q&As, and patch notes that detail the latest changes. Thanks for tuning in.